Hello there, my name is Casey, and this is Ghost of a Tail. So, this will be the first time I've tried just doing voiceover as I go instead of pre recording it. So, um, I hope it goes well. Now, I was. F I first saw this game and I thought, my god, it looks incredible. I mean,. It really looks gorgeous and what really won me over at first was the just the, the little character uh, the little mouse uh, his name is Tilo and um, just looks so adorable this little loot on his back love it so I've played about 20 minutes or so of this just to uh, just to give it a quick go before trying to record a video or anything. Ooh. So, as you can see, it's sort of a stealth type game. Ooh, very spooky. So you can sneak around. So, yeah, I've gotten this far before, and um, this guy is hilarious. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I should. Uh, should keep keep up with us um so yeah first first off um i'm having some problems with the controller i think a few people in the in the discussions on steam have had similar issues with just the controllers not working at all so i've had to restart the game a few times and like sometimes I use a steam controller and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I seem to have to have to restart a few times until until it works I love this dialogue it's <laughs> it's, it's just brilliant so I got a little side quest here and oh mushrooms so i should probably eat some of those uh, let's eat an apple another apple and a mushroom so as you see it's it is really beautiful it is it's this game is just gorgeous to look at I can get a stick. Now this is something, it's an item that you can throw. Uh, I seem to be gathering up a lot of foodstuffs. So I don't know, do I have to, um, do you get hungry or anything and keep having to eat, but... I'll just grab as much food as I can. And a key. So you can hide in here as well. It's one of those kind of kind of games where there's there's no combat. And you have to run and hide. And I like the way stealth is done in this. So you have that um, as it says there. The enemy's awareness grows as you move. So. As you see, it's starting to go up. So I have to crawl up very slowly. And make sure not to disturb him. So I have the I have the booze. And I can return to my uh, quest giver. I can 
it sneak away. I like I like the way the stealth is done. You can you can still even though you're sneaking, you can still be disturbed by your movements. A lot of food there. So Boop, boop. But, oh, this game is just so beautiful. So I'm saved there. Um, it's, it's interesting as well, you can save while you're hiding. So yeah, um, you, you need to enter a hiding spot before saving. So it's, it's kind of interesting. So uh, for example, this is this is hiding spot, you can save there. So this, this game is in early access. But it looks incredibly polished. It's it's impressive. It is seriously. I've played um, I've played a few early access games that uh, I think I think I've had a, a pretty good luck with early access. The other ones that I've tried are Darkest Dungeon and Besiege. And very impressed with both of those uh, darkest dungeon, especially. Um, the only early access game I tried that I wasn't too gone on was um, Slime Rancher, and I think it was just there was. I played it for about an hour and just got bored. There wasn't there wasn't a whole lot to do in it, so it's. It wasn't a bad game, uh, just one that I thought I'd come back to when it's finished. Uh, not like Darkest Dungeon, which I was playing for hours and hours while it was in early access. And Besiege. Besiege was just brilliant. So this is, this is another early access success, I think. So I've played up to this bit before and there's a, there's a guard going to come around the corner, isn't he? Yeah, there he comes. Hide away. So get out of his way quick. I don't know why um I don't know what what that costume is about but <laughs> that was funny when that first happened uh, what's this oh. okay I think there was a key up this way
Harbor key. There we go. Sackcloth hood. Let's equip that. Don't quite know what that does exactly, but... Ah, okay, so I need to eat some more foods. So there's a bit of a survival element to it, I guess. But, um... Ah, shit, 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 shit. Ah! Hopefully he'll leave me alone. Oh, crap, what am I doing? For some reason I can hide in the box with the hornets and not get stung. I love the I love the style of this game. Everything is gorgeous, but I love the character designs. I love this sort of I guess this sort of anthropomorphic animal characters. They're um they're really adorable. Oh there's a key there. Can't get to it. Oh Coming back this way. So it's definitely a kind of style that I like. It's kind of um, another game that I really enjoyed recently was Armello, which had a similar sort of anthropomorphic characterization, and I really like that. I like. Um, Reminds me of when I was a kid and you'd have you'd have all sorts of characters like that. Um, what was this? Uh, like Bucky O'Hare or... Um, oh, can I reach this? Oh. And... Um, oh, yay! Chit, 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 chit. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the character style. So, another game that I really enjoyed was uh, Dust and Elysian Tale. And I know a lot of people were put off by that because of the... the what they what they refer to as the furry characters. So I know it's off-putting for a lot of people, but yeah, I like that this is this is becoming a thing again. Cause I don't um pegging door. Okay, I got But um I know I do I do like this kind of character design especially loved um, f if you've ever seen the old uh, 80s Jim Henson um, Labyrinth my god I ca why couldn't I think of that um, one of my favourite characters in that was uh, Sir Didymus so two days in jail for not wearing his full armour in the courtyard stuck and brained by falling drawbridge after which break failed Ooh, thief boots. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, sticks. 
So what do I do here? There we go. Yeah. Oh, parts belt and lantern. Sweet. What else do I have here? What can I wear? That. My lantern is already filled up. Okay. What does the lantern do? Ah, lovely. Yeah, the controls seem really simple when, when they work, that is. Um, yeah, my only, only issue so far with the game was that the uh, controller did not seem to... did not seem to work initially. But I think that's pretty forgivable right now. Be real sneaky. He hasn't spotted me. Just, if only I had a key. No. So this. Bonk. Seems to be a little f uh, frame rate drop there, but which way is he coming? Oh. Hopefully there'll be somewhere to hide up up here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit, 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 shit. So there's a great approach to stealth in this. I really, really like it. So I think I see keys. Oh. Bottle of vodka. Lovely. So here's Yeah, I should get my chair less squeaky. I'm gonna 
look through a lot of these logs when um ooh, a fake card. No time to sleep. So when I'm not trying to record a video, I'm gonna look over some of the some of the logs and things. What what key did I pick up? Jail master key. Okay. Where was the... Oops, there we are. It's not coming this way. Let's pop down here. Hmm. So this seems to be somebody I can talk to. So I need money. Oh, I can hide in a barrel. So, yeah, this this game is one of the most visually impressive I've ever seen. This, this is gorgeous. And some some frame rate drops, but. Oh crap. There, that's who spotted me. Or nearly spotted me rather. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here. As far as first impressions go, this this is amazing. This really is a very impressive game. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I'll do some do some more. Thanks for watching.